हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर अर्शिद नदीम आवान रेडियोलॉजी एंड अल्ट्रासाउंड वीडियोस होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल एंड यू आर ऑल एंजॉयंग प्रैक्टिसिंग रेडियोलॉजी एंड प्रैक्टिसिंग अल्ट्रासोनोग्राफी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो टू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स रादर आई वुड से टू इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी दैट वी आर यूजली यूजिंग बट समाइम वी गेट कन्फ्यूज हाउ टू यूज एंड वी हेर टू यूज ऑल दैट द वन इज para pelvic renal cyst and the another one is peri pelvic renal cyst para pelvic renal cyst actually uh, these cyst arise from the renal parenchyma and extend into the renal sinus so far the peri pelvic cysts are concerned it arise from the lymphatics of the uh, what i would say renal infundibulum so far the uh, diagnosis are concerned you cannot uh, confirmly say on the basis of the ultrasound imaging which one is the parapelvic and which one is the peripelvic but normally the common entity which we are seeing on the ultrasound images is the parapelvic renal cyst so i will show you the parapelvic renal cyst uh, ultrasound imaging and also uh, ct scan imaging so both uh, you will see on these images so far uh, the parapelvic renal cysts are concerned as i mentioned you it will not distort the um, pelvic calicial system it will not obstruct the pelvic calicial system but it will start a uh, slightly distort uh, the pelvic uh, peripelvic uh, collecting systems like uh, it's quite easy to understand on the ultrasound imaging because you will see that how shall i categorize it whether this is a purely pelvic calicial dilatation or it it will mimic like a mild degree hydronephrosis it will mimic like a mild degree parapelvic or uh, a mimic as a pelvic calicial dilatation but in fact this would be parapelvic renal cyst so it's to be honest quite confusing when you are doing ultrasound and when you are uh, seeing on the images so you quite often confuse which to label but now after this video when after seeing these images and these narrations and ct scan images you will be quite confidently label this as a para pelvic renal cyst so let's start watching these images uh, the ct images and the ultrasound imaging for the better understanding of the para pelvic renal cysts is a transabdominal scan of the kidney and here on this kidney you can appreciate that uh, there are uh, pelvic calicial dilatation but in fact this is not pelvic calicial dilatation and neither it fall in the category of hydronephrosis this actually what the para renal para pelvic renal cysts look like on the ultrasound imaging have a look to this image and here you can appreciate that particularly the lower pole is involved with a multiple para pelvic cyst it will appears like a bunch and as i mentioned that it uh, arises from the renal parenchyma and protrude into the renal sinus and it mimic as a mild degree hydronephrosis or in some cases you may confuse with the pelvic calicial dilatation but uh, this is how the para pelvic renal cyst will look on the ultrasound imaging this is another pattern and this is a very common pattern if there is multiple para pelvic cyst it will appear as uh, like the way you are seeing in this video and uh, uh, in first glance uh, you might uh, uh, call it as a mild degree hydronephrosis and uh, uh, some of uh, the cases will be labeled as a pelvic calicial dilatation but in fact these are all multiple cysts which communicate with the renal sinuses and it appears as uh, uh, like it looks as it's a pelvic calicial dilatation so this is how the para pelvic renal cyst will appear on the ultrasound imaging so another uh, scan for the understanding of the para pelvic renal cysts these white arrows indicating uh, cystic patterns and overall in bird eye view if you see it will look like if there is any pelvic calicial dilatation which in fact it is not so pay a little attention and uh, when you come across with such appearances always focus and consider para pelvic calicial cyst in your conclusion a close up ultrasound view 
here you can appreciate that this is a truly a para pelvic renal cyst and some of them especially in the lower in the upper pole you can see these both are protruding into the renal sinuses while the other two can also be seen as protruding into the renal sinuses so uh, this is how the para pelvic cyst appears on the ultrasound imaging This is contrast enhanced CT image and on this CT image you can clearly see para pelvic renal cyst. Look at how beautifully these cysts are developing within the renal parenchyma and protruding into the renal sinus. Usually it happens to be bilateral which you can appreciate on this image. So this is bilateral para renal pelvic or para pelvic renal cysts so uh, this is how it will appear on the ct images and that's why it's important that along the ultrasound imaging you should have to have the ct images this is another ct image and on this ct image at first glance you may confuse with a hydronephrosis which actually it is not it is para pelvic renal cysts and uh, you can see that these cysts are arising from the renal parenchyma and uh, eventually protruding into the renal sinuses giving rise to an impression of a, a hydronephrosis but actually this is what the para renal uh, para pelvic renal cysts which appear on the ct images so another scan uh, it's a coronal scan and on that scan you can see that the left kidney having a para pelvic renal cyst so this is usually it happens to be bilateral but in that case this is only the left sided uh, kidneys involved as far as the renal scintigraphy in uh, cystic conditions of the kidneys is involved having not uh, much uh, appreciation so that's why uh, renal scintigraphy is not very useful for the renal cysts This is ultrasound practical demonstration for the better understanding of the para pelvic renal cysts. This will appear in that way. Look at if uh, you are doing scanning for the first time or you haven't seen this para pelvic cysts before, you might confuse with the pelvic LACL dilatation or you might label it as a mild degree or minimal hydronephrosis, which is not the true diagnosis. This is what uh para pelvic uh, renal cyst appears and uh, you can appreciate that so this uh, image and this video will help you and will keep the impression on your mind and when you scan the patient and you come across with such appearances you will definitely not miss the diagnosis and you will label this case as a para pelvic renal cyst